Welcome back to Let's Play Toho Puppet Dance Performance. So we've made it to Muran Temple, and we've found some grass, so it's time to have a little bit of fun. There are, in fact, six puppets in this area, two of which we've already seen, though. Marasa is not one of them. So Marasa has a double weakness to electricity. Also, or just a weakness to electricity. On top of weak to nature and poison. She nulls dark and resists light, fire, water, and steel. I'm gonna go ahead and use seal thread right away. Because I have her weakness. Will I kill her? Yes. As I'm sure you noticed, there are a lot of friggin' Nazarin around here. In fact, um, Nazarin is... Oh, wow, really? Nazarin is only a 23% encounter rate, but you'd think it was, like, 90. So, show! Show is light electric, takes double illusion damage. Oh, this is not going to go well for you. Um, also weak to dark and earth. Um, nullifies light and takes quarter damage from electric. Just don't give me that stupid mouse. Ichirin! Alright, we're getting there. So this will be the third new one of uh, four new ones in this area. Do I actually want to use this? Ichirin is fighting types, takes um, neutral damage to illusion and electric, so I don't have any real advantages there. Uh, weak to wind, sound, and that's it. Resists earth and dark. I'm gonna hold off, and I'm just gonna start with Illusion. And then I'm gonna use it. Yeah, keep raising your defense, it's not gonna stop me. Really, really annoying thing about catching puppets in this area is um, where, as far as I can tell, there's no good healing spot around the temple. So you gotta run all the friggin' way back to town every time you wanna heal. Hijiri, finally, at 5%, I do believe it is, um, you get to catch Byakarin herself. So Byakarin is a fighting type, of all things, with a, double, with a weakness to wind and sound. She is strong to earth and dark. So it doesn't actually matter what I hit her with. I have been wrecking things pretty good, though, so I'm going to use a seal thread now. Oh my goodness, if I lose this because I run out of seal threads, I'm gonna be so angry. I 
I should be fine, but I don't like it. Yeah! Wonder why they named the puppet Hijiri and not Biakran. Like, everybody knows her as Biakran. I don't know. I don't know things. So that's it for here. Crap, I gotta go back and get more threads. Gotta get some sweet threads. We return with more threads. Um, quick trip back to town, healed up while I was at it, even though I didn't really need it much, because we are heading into the Muran Temple Cemetery. Now, I have to be a little bit careful because there are trainers about, like you, and I think I'm gonna tackle the trainers next time because we, I've already been recording for a pretty fair amount of time, but let's go ahead and knock this crap out. Because there's a whole slew of more crap to catch, starting with Kogasa. Kogasa is a water wind with a Four times weakness to electricity. Um, also weak to poison. Strong to a lot of things. Thanks. Let's see, Kogusa had a... 36% chance of appearing. And Sekibanki learned a new skill. Ignorant Darkness. Uh, power is only 25, but it does attack 2 to 5 times, so that's like a 50 beyond potential power. Accuracy 100, SP 20, that's not bad at all. And surprising how many Kogas's we've run into thus far. Nobody's ever told that joke before. Don't anybody tell me otherwise. Um, so Yoshika is another new one. Poison type. First poison we've seen, I think. Weak to wind and earth. Nothing I have will do anything fancy. But I think I'm going to be safe and use the seal thread first, because you never know. So Yoshika had a... Yoshika had a... What was the chance... Ah, there are 31% chance of running into Yoshika. has a low 10% chance of showing up, and she is Nether-type, another fancy new one. She's weak to light, dark, and nether, uh, resistant to poison and illusion, so I guess electric it is. Are you, like, sitting on something, or is... No, maybe that's more rope hanging down. I think that's more rope hanging down, like an inner rope.
Yomu! Alright. Yomu is next on our list with a rate, an appearance rate of 16%. Yomu is a steel nether, as one may guess, given the fact that she is both ghost and has a large sword. She is weak to earth, nether, dark, light, and fire. She is strong, however, to illusion and wind. In fact, she takes quarter damage from illusion, so bad idea all around. Uh, I'm gonna start with seal thread. And then he was struck by lightning. Wow. Glad for that one. And that is four of the five, but one remains. The Alpha, the Omega, Mima. At a meager 5% drop rate, Mima is Nether type. Weak to light, dark, and nether, strong to poison and illusion, and once caught will be a member on my team until end game. Mima is like one of best Tohos. There's a lot of good Tohos in this area. But Mima! It's hard to top Mima, except maybe with an Oku. All right, until next time, everyone. I wish I could take a look at Mima's stats, but there's no doll around. We've caught everything in the area. There is still some trainers to take care of up there in the graveyard, and maybe a little bit of exploring to do, but after that, we're on our way to Ainte. Until next time, everyone. I have a little more team management to do. Oh, you can slow down on this, by the way, if you hit the run button.